hey guys welcome to a new tutorial in this tutorial we will talk about creating a mobile app using google sheets so by the end of this tutorial you should be able to create an app like this one where i have taken the movie db api and i am fetching the top movies and also the popular movies based on the imdb ratings so what does this app have this app have, has a search functionality where you can search for a movie that is listed in that tab there are two tabs top movies and popular movies you can we will we'll use a tool called glide which essentially converts a google sheet into an app so the first step that we will do is uh, use google sheets and pull data from the movie db api and we will write a little bit of code uh, in app scripts so let's get started so the first step is uh, let me go to my google sheets and create a new blank sheet once you have a new blank sheet let me rename the oh sorry about that let me rename the sheet to what we want the app to be called as so in this case i will call it the movies app so the first step is to essentially form a structure to our sheet. So what we will do here is uh, we'll pull the following information from the API. So we'll pull the name overview, which is essentially the plot of the movie and then the image cover image of the movie, then the rating and final one is uh, going to be the release date. So since you've noticed that we will be doing this for any top movies and also popular movies, what I will do is uh, I'll quickly clone this into popular movies as well. And now we have two sheets. All we have to do is pull data into this, right? So we will be using app scripts. So click on tools and click on script editor, which essentially opens up a JS code editor where, where you can uh, write code to manipulate the, the sheet that we have created here. So I will remove this code. The first step is uh, create an additional menu that appears here and shows uh, two links under it, which will be called get top movies and get popular movies. So to do that, uh, let me quickly rename the project to be movies, TV, APIs and uh, so I'm going to use um, two functions. The first one is going to be get popular movies. And the second one is going to be get top movies. So the API that I'm going to use is the movie TV API. You'll have to go to the movie db api and create an account and get an api key so the api key is the prerequisite to be able to fetch any data so if you if you go to the movie db.org you can create an account and get an api and api key is essential so what we will do is uh, let me quickly pull through the the documentation of what we will fetch today so we will be working with two APIs. Uh, essentially, one is going to be an top rated and uh, there is get popular. So these are the two APIs that we will use. So, and uh, to try this API out, you can once you have the API key, you can copy this URL, change the API key parameter to your API and post it on a browser or you can use Postman if you know uh, how to use Postman. So to make this simple and quicker, what I've done is uh, I've already called the API and uh, let me quickly post the sample that we've got. So this is what the API returns. Essentially, there is a results array. Inside the results array, there are movies basically. So from these movies, what we will do is uh, you can you can decide to copy other data as well. What I'm doing is essentially copying the title, the vote average, which is the rating average, overview, release date, and also the poster path. Poster path is the image. 
so here there is only the path of the uh, image once you read the documentation what you will realize is uh, the images have to be prepended with a url uh, according to the api documentation which is this so you this part should be prepended to the post path so this is the path that you will get from the api so you have to remember all of this we have to parse through uh, the results and then put all of these as rows inside this so what i will do is uh, to make this quicker i'll write one function and then we can essentially duplicate the same for the next one so um, the first step is to call the api so if you remember we take this url right so i am just pasting the url url fetch app dot fetch is how you fetch the movies now uh, you can also use logger dot log and then response and check if you are getting the response for the api that you've called or not the api key will be blurred so you won't be able to see it but make sure you essentially replace the api key in the url so i am creating a blank array where uh, we will push all the values that we want from the api so uh, now let us convert the response that we have received to a string and then once we have the string what we do is we parse the json so uh, here what we'll do is json.parse this is plain javascript so i'm just doing sorry json so now you have all the elements in the data variable right so from the data variable our job is to parse and get the movies so if you remember uh, all of the movies in the api the response are inside results so to make this easier what we will do is uh, create another variable and pull all the results into that variable so i'll just call it results data of results once you have this, uh, your next job is to parse through the results array and then input all the values that you have into the sheet. So parse, we will use a for each loop, right? So for each, this for each loop is uh, used to parse through each item in the results array. So inside the for each loop, we create a function with a parameter called item. So item will now store all the values now our job is to just to push and get these values the poster path the title the vote average into the values dot push like comment so values dot push this is an array so we will do here item of title so this will bring up the title and then we have five columns so i'll quickly do the others as well two three four five and uh, after the title we have overview and then uh, we have the image path which is in poster underscore path and if you remember we need to prepend the url to be to be able to fetch the image actual image so what i'm going to do is uh, just add it here for this and then we can remove this because that is already included in the poster path response the slash is included so don't worry about it the other one is uh, the the last two parameters that we need are vote underscore average and uh, the last one is obviously the release date of the movie once we have this uh, our next step is to push this into our sheet so what we will do is uh, we'll fetch the sheet first this is standard code you can look up uh, google if you are not sure how to uh, insert data into a spreadsheet using google app scripts so you can use uh, spreadsheet app dot get active which is the active sheet which is linked to this app script and from here what we will do is we'll get the sheet that we want we have two sheets so for this function we need get popular movie sheet right so we'll go get that 
sheet by the name so we have spreadsheet that we just created and then we will do get sheet by name and the name is uh, popular movies and then the final step is uh, to add all the values so we will use get range function and then essentially the first this function will allow you to skip the header and then add values from the second row onwards so uh, get range the first parameter is uh, used to get the last row which is filled and then add a plus one to it so that it knows that it starts from the second row and the second parameter is the length of the value array itself and then values array and then the third parameter is the length how many columns are there in the in each of the row in the value array so we will do value of length of value of zero dot length and the last one is to set array that we have pushed all the items to from this so this is the code that is needed to be able to push all the values to the google sheet so the copy the same and do so the api will change the api that we need to change for top movies is uh, just going to be this url that we have so we will do we'll just copy this part if you if you're confused you can just copy the whole thing but uh, essentially the parameters are the same for both the apis so i'm just copying this and uh, updating our function so i updated this to that and then uh, don't forget to change the name of the sheet that you have to update the data to app scripts also allows you to create a new menu uh, inside the google sheet itself for that what we will do is uh, first step is for us to use on open function which is essentially when the sheet opens it automatically creates the menu this is a default function and uh, we'll do a variable which stores the ui so this again uses the same spreadsheet app dot get ui and now uh, our job is to add a menu item so we will do create menu so we will do movies api functions this is the label of the menu itself and then inside this our job is now to add the two items so we will do add item the caption of the menu that you want so this is going to be fetch top movies and this is the function name so here our function name is get top movies and then we need another one so i'll just do another add item the caption for this will be fetch popular movies and the function name is going to be get popular movies and the last one is to obviously add this to the sheet so this is code that is needed to pull movies from the movies db api so what we'll do is we'll quickly save this and uh, try to run uh, when you run this what will happen is it will ask you for permissions just make sure you now once this is done it will show preparing for execution and it will run the functions and uh, hopefully we should have the data here so now if you refresh the sheet here if you see once this opens it should add a new menu item yep we have movies api functions where i will click on fetch top movies and fetch the movies for us there you go we have all the movies listed and uh, then we'll also do fetch popular movies and we should have all the popular movies also fetched so perfect now that the sheet is ready uh, we'll just quickly go to glide apps so glide apps essentially converts your spreadsheets into apps automatically so just make sure you have an account here ideally i would uh, sign up with my gmail which is which has the same google sheet which which we just created so that it is easier to sync up so um, yeah you just do create from google sheet and make sure you select the right sheet 
when it appears so i will just create it and select and then it will automatically create the app in about a couple of minutes or maybe less than that and yes uh, we have the app ready um, so the tabs are automatically created for you and then popular movies are also created for you okay looks like we have some empty columns you can clear the empty columns and uh, okay so we'll just delete those and uh, there is anything in the yep uh, okay cool we just delete these make sure your data is clean and once you once you update the sheet all you have to do is come back to glide and then do uh, go to there is a refresh column here so you just do refresh and uh, it'll update the, once that is done yep you should have the top movies and popular movies so the next step is to uh, change the layout to cards because uh, that will probably make it appealing or you could also do tiles which will look like this and once you click on this it will load all the column values so that's how you create a mobile app using google sheets and also using glide apps which essentially converts your sheet into beautiful apps so we'll also quickly look at how to update the icons for top movies and if you want to update the app icon and if you want to enable dark mode you just go to settings on the left and then do all the changes that you want here and then if you go to general tab here you also get to update the app name and then author name yep that's a dog at 3 43 am cool <laughs> so you can update the app name and all and if you go to tabs section on the left you can also update what you want to show on the menu here so let me quickly update the icon to you can say top or i can do rating yep uh this looks better so we'll just add a fire icon for top movies and popular movies can be let me just use a camera for now yep let's let's do this icon order you can use any icons that are available here if you if you have a pro account you can use more icons right so we have the apps updated and now the next step is to share and then it'll ask you to publish the app you can you can uh, publish the app using a subdomain on glide and uh, you can also use a custom subdomain name so in this case i've used the movies app dot glide app dot co if you copy that and open it on your mobile or scan the qr code it should work normally on a mobile so let me just quickly open this url up and show the url to you what i will do is quickly so i'll do inspect element and uh, change the device orientation to yeah fix it to excel let's do a refresh and it should load how it looks on a mobile so you can share this url well that's the tutorial that will show how to use a google sheet and create a mobile app using glide apps there are other no code tools that essentially convert a google sheet into a mobile app which i will walk through in the upcoming videos thank you for watching make sure you drop a like and subscribe and wait for more uh, no code based tools for you to be able to create websites apps and mvps and prototypes etc thanks for your time guys